At least 15 police officers have been injured in Northern Ireland during a second night of unrest in Belfast. Three had to be taken to hospital after rioters began throwing stones, bottles, fireworks and rocks. On Sunday, nearly 50 officers were injured in the violence, which has been taking place between Catholics and Protestants. Well, joining me now from Belfast is the journalist Eamon Malley. And Eamon, as you well know, we're in what is known as the marching season in Northern Ireland, where both Republican and nationalists hold their own parades. Is this just a sense of tit-for-tat disturbances between the two sides, or is it more serious than that? Well, when you have the volume of petrol bombs, missiles, etc., being hurled two nights in a row and the number of police officers injured, one has to treat it more seriously than mere tit-for-tat. Uh, this place is reasonably, it has been reasonably settled for some time. But uh, we have a body here known as the Parades Commission, which arbitrates, which decides where people can march and where they cannot march. Now, Protestants feel that they're getting a raw deal right now. Loyalists, some of the loyalists, and they're protesting, they're taking to the streets. And uh, then you get nationalists, some Republicans coming out onto the streets. And these would not be mainline Republicans. These would be Republicans who are dissenting from Jerry Adams and Jerry Kelly and people like that. So you're getting these conflict points. And I'm afraid the police are bearing the brunt. But the police say that the bulk of the violence is coming from the loyalists side, but they're not saying that the UVF, that's the Protestant paramilitary organization, is centrally involved in orchestrating that violence. So how concerned are the authorities and what action is likely to be taken, if any? Well, they're very concerned. I mean, so the police, has they've got to be concerned. Uh, their officers are being injured. And one of the senior officers said today that the potential is always there in situations like this for a police officer to be killed because they are throwing petrol bombs at them, they're throwing bits of masonry at them, missiles of all sorts and ships and sizes. So it, it, the police are very, very vulnerable. Now, thank God no, no guns have appeared on the street. But in situations like that, historically, guns ultimately appear. And therein lies the real danger. We, of course, are in a different era now, as you say, an era of peace. Belfast has been u used to peace in, in the last few years. Is there a sense that things could change because of the tensions that these marches bring up every year? I don't really think so. I think this place is more settled than that. But we're still uh, living with the legacy of sectarianism bitterness. Uh, there's still this cancer around of sectarianism and bigotry. And we haven't worked this out of our system. And there are people in responsible positions, people within, even within the executive, within government here, is siding with people on the ground and they're speaking out of both sides of their mouths instead of taking a particular stance and opposing all of this because if people support the, and uphold the institutions of state, then I don't see how anybody can excuse what's going on in terms of the rioting each night because at the end of the day, their own communities are being undone as a result of this. Great to talk to you. That's Eamon Malley joining us live from Belfast. Thanks so much.